welcome to Vlogtober day 15. Today I'm gonna to be packing for camping and then I'm headed up to Shenandoah National Park because my sister, her husband, and their two small dogs are coming to visit me here in Virginia. So first we're gonna do some camping days in Shenandoah and then we're gonna drive down and they're gonna visit me here in Richmond. So it's gonna be a very exciting week. I'm gonna try my hardest to keep up with uploading these vlogs because when you have visitors, everything gets shuffled, but I think I'll have the evenings to be able to do it. So bear with me. Um, I want to make sure that every day in October has a vlog, but I might be able to smash some days together to make sure that every day has an upload and I'm not, and I'm not too delayed, but we'll see what happens. Anyway, first I have to pack. So as you can see, I have a bunch of clothes around me um, because I was pondering what to pack, but I think I have it figured out. So I'm just going to walk you through it and explain what I'm packing for a three-day trip to Shenandoah in October. First, we will start with gear. So I've got my sleeping bag right here. I've got my pillow right here, and this is my camp chair. So those are the three items I'm gonna be bringing to camp. I also am bringing this additional blanket to put around my legs next to the campfire at night if it's too cold, because I don't wanna have to like pull my sleeping bag out. So I'm gonna bring a second blanket. It's supposed to be kind of cold, so just planning ahead. This is my pile of, of pajamas. I'm bringing like sweats and lightweight. I just don't know how I'm gonna feel inside the RV. Also forgot to mention, they're bringing their RV. So me and my sister are gonna have the RV to sleep in, and then her husband's gonna sleep in the tent. Um, originally, I was gonna sleep in the tent, but he's like, you guys can have the RV so you can catch up because I haven't seen Jordan, my sister, in... Since my dad's retirement party in January of last year? No, I've seen them more recently than that, haven't I? No, no, I don't think I've seen her since then. So it's been like 10 months. So we have a lot of catching up to do. I think that's correct. We'll, we'll verify with her when I see her. She has a better memory for these things than I do. But anyway, so that's, I'm packing for that. Then I have my pullover. This is very warm and I figured this will be good at night when we're just chilling at the campsite. And then I have my outfit for tomorrow, which is going to be my green tur turtleneck, which you guys have seen a lot, uh, leggings, because we're going to do a lot of hiking. So I think that's a good combination. And then I'll be bringing my flannel jacket, which has made it in a lot of vlog episodes this October, but it is my new favorite jacket because the colors are amazing green. Hello. And it's just really comfy and like the perfect lightweight for this not too cold, kind of cold, weather. The next day's outfit is going to be jeans, a hoodie, and this t-shirt. We're going to go to a couple sites on the way back to Richmond, but we're not doing any hikes, I don't think. So I think jeans is the call. I'm also bringing a beanie in case it gets cold, cold at night or cold during the day. The weather is kind of flip-flopping on this trip. It's like starts out at 74, then it goes to 64, and then it goes to like 54. So it goes down like 10 degrees every day. So I'm not really sure what to bring exactly, but vegan club hat for obvious reasons. It goes with everything. And then also this hat, which is a little camping bear. It's slightly darker shade. Um, and I just wanna make sure the hat matches perfectly, I guess. So I'm bringing both of those. This is a long sleeve shirt for today in case it gets cold enough that my t-shirt that I'm currently wearing uh, is too cold. And then these are shorts in case for some reason the hiking is making me hot and I'm regretting the leggings. I will have a pair of shorts with me. And then this is gonna be my hiking backpack. It's like a mini, uh, Fjall, Robin, Raven, Kankin. I don't know how to say it. <laughs> you guys know the brand. But anyway, I've had this backpack literally for 10 years or something like that. And it's the perfect size to fit my camera in case I don't want to carry it the whole hike. It's also a good size to fit the water bottle. It's It just fits everything. So I don't have to like hold stuff. I can carry it on my shoulders or on my back. Um, right now it has some of my filming equipment in it, but it won't when I'm hiking, of course. I'm going to bring my GoPro. I feel like this would be, I just used it on yesterday's vlog for the haunted kayak tour. And I just feel like this would be a really good hiking camera. That way I don't have to carry my heavy one, but I don't know. Cause the sound isn't as good. I'm torn. Also, I can't do close-ups on this. And you guys know how I feel about my, you know, B-roll close-up, you know, song montages on the vlog. So I'm torn. I'm bringing it anyways. This is my indie filter that I use on my camera that you're watching when it's too bright. So this I use outside. And yeah, that is the haul, I guess. It's not really a haul, it's a packing haul. I don't know how you would describe it, but this is what I'm going to be bringing camping. And now I have to pack it up because I really do have to get going at some point. Oh, I forgot, I'm bringing shoes. So I'm bringing my dirty AF sneakers, my hiking boots, also dirty, 
And then these like slip on Birkenstocks, I just feel like in case I just want to go in and out of the RV to like the fire and I don't have to like put on shoes. Yeah, so I feel like these can get dirty and we'll be okay. And these will be convenient. I, I don't think I'm going to bring my slippers. I don't want them to get too dirty. So I'm going to bring those as like my slippers. And we are all packed. So I've got everything I just described shoved in there, except of course the camping equipment. And we're ready to go, sort of. Also, I love this suitcase because it's expandable and it's really easy to like fit a bunch of stuff in here, unlike the hard shells. So this is what we're using. It's also slightly dirty from several trips. So I think it'll be okay if it gets dirty. Camping, maybe, hopefully. I forgot to show you my outfit for today. So I'm wearing my Carhartt Whip uh, overalls, the dirty sneakers we talked about earlier, and this black t-shirt. So I'll change into this striped long sleeve if I need. And I also got nervous and packed an additional green jacket that you'll see if I need it. Um, in case you see it later and you're like, hey, she didn't show me that. Um, and then I have all my camping stuff and a tote and my shoes and everything in the suitcase. Okay, now I have to go get all the snacks that I'm bringing because I'm vegan, they're not. I have to like bring additional stuff just in case. They're cool with eating vegan, but um, they don't have to. So I'm going to be packing some snacks and I'll show you that. So this is some of the food I'm bringing. So we have a little bit of the leftover hot dogs, which I feel like will be perfect for camping, buns, the leftover baked beans from, oh, if you haven't seen Vlogtober day 13, we did like this outdoor movie night and we, got a fire pit and it was really fun. So these are leftovers from that. Leftover cheese from that night, bringing pasta to make mac and cheese, my sister's request. And then um, it wouldn't be a Lauren Z. Ray trip without grapes, I love them. I also got these vegan um, oatmeal cream pies. I figured my sister would love those, she loves sweets. And then I made myself breakfast. I made two peanut butter and jelly overnight oats. So that's gonna be tasty in the mornings because I have two breakfasts while we're there. And then I got these chimichurri chopped salads kits cause I wanted vegetables and I thought these would be the easiest and these are vegan as is. And then I got some ketchup for the hot dog and then I'm bringing one poppy which is a really beat up can. So it might um, explode everywhere. So we'll see what happens when that is open. But anyway, so that's the, the, the refrigerator food. I also have uh, popcorn and I can't remember what else that you didn't need to refrigerate in that bag. Also, I made some homemade vegan Rice Krispie treats with chocolate chips on top. I thought we would need these for camping too, you know? You know. And not to forget, if you saw Vlogtober day five when we went to Carter Mountain, we picked up these IPA Bold Rock Ciders and I specifically said in that video, I was gonna bring these to the campsite because I know my sister is gonna love them because they taste so good with the hops and the cider. It's a mix that I've never had before and I absolutely love it. So I wanna see if she likes it too. Mm. All right, I just picked up some firewood and now it is time to get going. It is a two hour and five minute drive to the Big Meadows campground. That's where they're staying in Shenandoah. And I'm gonna be watching some YouTubes, maybe listening to a few audibles and thinking. That's pretty much what I do on long drives by myself. Sometimes I call my parents. Maybe I should, I haven't talked to them in like a while. I'm not very good about that. <laughs> but um, I'll see you guys when I get there. Well, hello, look who's made it. Shenandoah National Park, the road's right there, so it's a bit loud, but there's more foliage up here than in Richmond. I'm so freaking excited. And now it's just like a 30 minute drive to the campground once I enter. I have my National Parks Pass, so remember when I forgot it? What Vlogtober day was that? Oh, Yorktown, yeah, so day two. I forgot my pass, but this time I remembered it, so that's good. And also I did call my mom and talk to her, like for an hour and a half. I just got off the phone with her, so. We definitely chatted up. I told her about how Veg Fest went and I told her about Vegan Club and all that stuff. She watched me on CBS 6, so she was like asking about Vegan Club. She hadn't heard much about it, I guess. I told you, I don't call enough, but now she's updated and only 30 more minutes till I see Jordan, my sister. So, almost there. <laughs> And I am here inside actually their camper van. They have another one that is a 1983 VW. It's orange. So this is one of two. They love camping. <laughs> but also, doesn't Danny drive the VW to work? 
believe he asked you because he doesn't have a car. Yeah, so it's fun. I mean, normally he just bikes. <laughs> it's vintage. It's vibe. Um, he's out there playing the... What's the in musical instrument out there, Danny, that you're playing? A guitar. Tiny little guitar. Tiny little guitar. Yeah, it doesn't have a... Guitar. It doesn't have a name? It's for backpacking. Uh, <laughs> Meryl. Oh, yeah, because Meryl gave it to you. Okay. Shout out to Meryl. <laughs> Shout out to Meryl. Now the guitar is named after you, Meryl. Um, <laughs> but it's a backpacking guitar, so it's lightweight and small. That's awesome. And um, my sister behind me, Jordan, she is, and Danny, they, but mostly Jordan now, the organic farm? No, well. Well. <laughs> no, we it's complicated. It. We but, anyways, they have an organic farm, but she's also a third grade teacher. Danny's a medical interpreter. But she brought me so many things that she made from her farm. So she's gonna take us on a tour of all the things she brought me. It's very exciting because the soil that these plants grow in is the same soil that was between my toes as a child in Indiana. <laughs> so it's a full circle we need. I brought a lot of onions, but like I thought that we could take them with us to Richmond and garlic because yes. they're storage onions and garlic, so they'll last forever. Wow. Yep. And then I brought tomatoes. I brought some tomatoes. Yum. For I thought we could make with the, with the lentils. And then I brought pickles. I brought two jars because I they're delicious. Oh, We're gonna eat love them. that. Some apple butter that I made and canned. Apple butter? That's gonna be great. And my co-worker made sourdough, so I brought that with me with apple butter. Yum. I brought these pickled peppers for you to have at your house though. Yay! And everything in them is from the farm. The carrots, the onions, the garlic, and the peppers. Yay! And I brought a can of tomatoes, but that's just in case these didn't make it. They survived. We can still use it though for something. And then I brought applesauce, which I don't yeah. know if we'll eat it, but I'm applesauce is so. one of my favorite things ever. It's really good. I love applesauce. I, don't know. I made it. <laughs> that's all the stuff I made. The rest is just stuff from Trader Joe's. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna have mac and cheese, and Lauren made cheese sauce, and then brought the noodles. But I'm gonna. I think we should put. A little bit of garlic, a little bit of onion. Yep. Some tomatoes. Yes. Spinach. Yes. And the mushrooms. Yes. I think it'll be delicious. We can also have hot dogs with it too. Yeah, hot dogs. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. So I brought Mac those. cheese and hot dogs. Yay. That's me in heaven. Oh yeah. And I brought the beans too. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us about your process here. I'm just getting off this part. It's rough. Tough. Rough and tough. You've got a pot of boiling mushrooms. Oh yeah and onions and garlic. Look at those two roasting their hot dogs. <laughs> squatting <laughs> down. I don't know, why are you guys squatting? <laughs> the chairs are right there. I don't know. I know, I know, I know. it just seems easier to squat though. I'm, I'm, I'm bringing my chair over. <laughs> he was doing it, so I did it. Because <laughs> if you squat, you're holding your wiener up, this... as opposed to down. <laughs> Okay, that's true. This is some Blair Witch stuff right here on, with the light. <laughs> Jordan put ketchup on her dog, but a lot fell on the ground. She's worried bears are going to come, so she's trying to clean it up. <laughs> no, she's not worried. Wait. <laughs> she also brought out pickles, which I'm excited about. These are homemade pickles from Jordan's garden. Are these cucumbers also from your garden? Yes. Wow, full circle garden. Everything's about it. Mm, I love them. The dill is the only thing not from there. But it's organic though. Oh my gosh, it's so windy. It's super windy, so you might not be able to hear me, but we are using the maple cookies to make s'mores. These are the maple cookies from Trader Joe's because I forgot graham crackers, but we think it's gonna be absolutely dreamy. I can't wait to try it. Just see if I could see you. Are you dreamy. farting? <laughs> <laughs> now, will the fart make the vlog cut? <laughs> That's the question. <laughs> Don't put it on there. No, it's cut? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we are doing the s'mores right now. Jordan's trying her s'more maple cookie. Is it magical? Oh, pretty good. <laughs> I can't wait. It's deluxe. It's deluxe. I can't wait to try it myself. <laughs> What's it look like? It looks. It looks. It, it's a tiny little guy. Oh my gosh! Wow. Here we go. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That maple <laughs> leaf s'more. <laughs> wow. My bangs. <laughs> it's the wind. Whoa. Told you it's deluxe. It's deluxe as Jordan says. <laughs> the first day has already been so amazing and we really haven't done anything at all <laughs> but eat and get a tour of Jordan's Hall. But it was really fun. Also, it's really windy, sorry if you can't hear me, but 
I'm going to pop up the playlist for Logtober here if you have missed any episodes you want to watch. And then Richmond right here. And we'll see you tomorrow for some hikes and good times. Oh, so windy. Oh, my gosh.